What's up, guys? Coach AD is back. Back with another one. Oh, man. Checked out a little bit of this All-Star game last night, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You know I got to talk about this one real quick. Today, I got my cappuccino today. No coffee today. Mm. Oh, gosh. That's so damn good. Oh, man. Double chocolate mocha. Good as hell, man. Oh, y'all like my little beach hat and shit? I'm going to call this my beach hat. I forgot I had this hat. I was going through my stuff and I was like, oh, damn, this is like a little, my, my little beach hat. Y'all see my little beach hat? But all right, let me get to the point, man. So last night, Steph Curry went against some girl, I guess some woman from the NBA, I mean WNBA, and had a three-point shootout against her and i was just shaking my head the whole time because i'm like why do we keep doing this why do we keep putting women in, in what men do why do we keep letting women get clout off of what men been doing and then and didn't letting them get clout from them and it never be the only way around you know here it go you got some white some woman that we don't know because they do be making this stuff racial too you know, besides the whole feminism thing, this stuff do be racial too, like white against black. This is why I don't like a lot of these game shows that come out today. You see all these new game shows out because they all scripted and they're all playing. And it's really just to make people think about certain people in certain ways, just like in all the game shows. You know, this damn near every game show you watch. It's like white against black, white against black. Or this white person versus this race. Or this black person versus this race. And then they, I was watching Wheel of Fortune last night. And they had this black woman sitting there being doing stupid stuff on purpose. And making her lose all her money on purpose. And she was going against two white people. They do this shit all the time. Because just like with this. Steph Curry, legend. Legend. One of the best shooters right now. In the league of damn near all time going against this woman who we don't even know. I don't even know. And I bet you most people do not know this woman. I know for a fact most of y'all do not know who she is. But I bet you a good amount of people know who Steph Curry is. I bet y'all. That's why I don't like this. And then, and then you got him playing against her. And it's like, it's just unfair because it's like, what if he lose? Now, everybody going to think she's better than Steph Curry and think she's the best and think Steph Curry is nothing. His career literally would have been ended just like that. And uh, just like that in a fell swoop. Oh, but if uh, Curry beats her, everybody still looks up to her and still thinks, oh, well, she just still did so great. And when even though she lost only by three points, but I already predicted what she was going to say when she won. Here it go. This is for the women, the young girls. This is one thing I don't like about feminism. And this is so true what I'm finna say and why feminism is is ridiculous. Because, again, it's not, and then it's not about equality and helping men. It's about, like, look about at it. You're competing against men. Instead of being there helping them, working together with them, you're competing against them. Basically trying to say you're better than them. That's all what it's really about. But what, what the part that really bothers me with feminism is the fact that if men said and did the same thing as what these women do all the time, everybody be mad at me and everybody be angry at me. Like I hear it all the time, just like at this, like, oh, this is for the women, this and that. But if men did that, watch how everybody look at them like they just disgusting and only care about men, right? If men say, oh, this is for the men, or I'm happy as so many men in there, I'm happy as so many men. Or man, I, I'm, I'm going for the men. Watch how everybody look at men and despise them like they should shut up. But when women do it and say they're supposed to be appreciated, like you're talking mess about men, but then turning around and doing the same thing that you said you didn't like about them. See what I'm saying? It's all a big trick to ruin us. Just think about it. Are you going to see some basketball player? From the NBA, go to the WNBA with one of their biggest stars and damn near win? No. No. And from what the looks of it is, it looked like they're going to start putting women in the NBA. And wouldn't that be some crazy stuff in the future? Women can play in the NBA with the men, but men can't play in the WNBA with women. Watch. Watch. That's wrong. That's clout chasing, too. Talk about clout chasing. Now this woman is finna get all of this clout. All of this clout because you went against Steph Curry. Look at this. All of this really was for her. 
Ain't got nothing to do with Steph Curry. It's really for her, as you can see. Women should not be competing against men in men's sports. Like, like that's why there's a WNBA, so women can play. Like, why are you, like, come on. And then you're only doing it. They're only going to do this just to make women look better and then make them look like it's not going to be nothing fair. It's not going to be fair. Just like I said, what if Steph Curry lost that three-point shootout? His career would have been ruined. This man literally would have been the embarrassment online. Like, I bet you by the time Monday come around, I bet you everybody would have been like, oh, my God, Steph Curry lost to a woman, a white woman, too. I bet you everybody would have been saying that. See what I'm saying? But she lose, she gets boosted up. You see, she still gets the boost. You see what I'm saying? Steph Curry lose, his career would have been done. He would have been embarrassed. He would have been embarrassed. I already know this. And I'm not even going to go into how they scripted to play out the way it did because some of y'all not ready for that. But just know it played out the way it did, how exactly they wanted it to. They wanted him to have 29 and her to have 26. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I, I've never seen that before. You know, I've never seen that before. I've never seen a man go against a woman in a in a in a sports event like that. I've never seen that, man. And honestly, I don't think this is good. I don't think this is good. I don't think it's gonna help. It's gonna change the league too much. You might as well keep it how you keeping it. Keep it how you keeping it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a shame though, man. That that's just y'all doing too much with this feminist stuff, man. Feminism ain't nothing but just another like I said, all you doing is just teaching women to hate on men so they can turn around and do the same thing they was hating on men for and then get accepted for it. You're teaching women to hate what men do and not appreciate what men do, but then telling them to go do the same thing and get appreciation and most of the time not even do as good as what they did to begin with. Come on, man. This is all. This shit is more important than what most people think. That's why they throw it down our throats like that. Because this shit is real and it really matters and it's important. It's a lot deeper than what I'm saying. But just know that something isn't right about this. And let, I hope that don't happen. I don't care if people get mad at me or not. I don't care. I just keep the NBA how it needs to be. Just keep it how it is. Keep the WNBA how it is. And things will be all right. You see, if you try to let women in the NBA, boy, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all types of messed up stuff going on, man. Well, men are going to start taking a back seat in their own shit. Just like a lot of other things, men then took a back seat in that clearly was their own shit. This would be another one. This would be another one. Now when basketball come on, ain't nobody going to be talking about what the men doing. They just going to be talking about how great the girls is and look at the girls. Watch. Watch. If y'all keep letting this go, because I know that's what they're going to do. They do this shit all the time with damn near everything. It's sad to me how people can't see through this stuff because they so used to it. But all right, I had to get my little impression on this, man. Like, what do y'all tell me in the comment section? This is my opinion. Tell me in the comment section what y'all think, man. Because I'm tired of this whole feminism everywhere stuff. Like I said, we should be teaching women how to work with each other. Not compete. Tell me what you tell me what you think. I, Cause I think that's much better. Working with one, one one another sounds much better than me. Hit that like button, y'all. Holla at me down in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Peace out.